Hi everyone. I am starting class 11th Kerala Board Anthropology book and uh, it has 10 units and uh, now I am starting unit 1 which has 5 chapters. Unit 1 is introducing anthropology and it has 5 chapters. Chapter number 1 is meaning and nature of anthropology. Chapter number 2 is major branches. Chapter number 3 is uh, relevance of anthropology. Chapter number 4 is relationship with other disciplines. And chapter number 5 is all about origin and development of anthropology. Okay. Now I am starting unit 1 introducing anthropology. Chapter number 1 meaning and nature of anthropology. I am trying my best to explain chapter wise in less time. I hope it will help to some extent. And I am sharing this chapter PDF and whole video on exam dynamics telegram channel. In case if you need. Okay. So let's start. In this first chapter, Meaning and Nature of Anthropology, in the very first two pages, the description of bitter experience of Mahatma Gandhi based on color discrimination was given. And uh, he was not allowed to travel in first class uh, train compartment despite uh, having train ticket. And this discrimination clearly explains the existence of differences in various forms whether in a thought process, whether in behavior, whether in culture or in anything in human's life. And this, uh, uh, these variety of differences reflects either in behavioral manner or way of living. These differences leads to significant diversity in every sphere of uh, human life across nations, cultures, religion, caste, color, anything okay i'm sure you also experience diversity in your day-to-day -day life in this book beals and hoyer in 1971 gave few examples of such variations uh, uh, they gave in their book introduction to anthropology these examples are uh, like uh, eskimos of the arctic circle uh, who live exclusively upon meat and fish and uh, fish for Amir Indian tribe, it is the main food. And uh, Mexican Indians uh, depend on cereals and vegetables. In case of India, uh, you, you also know that North Indians eat mostly wheat. Wheat is the main food. Hmm. And uh, in uh, case of Eastern India and in uh, Southern part of India, Rice is the main food. You got my point. And uh, one more example you can take. Uh, for example, meat of dog is considered to be very delicious for, very delicious for Mexican Indians. And uh, in case of uh, variations uh, in a combination of food also. For example, Orthodox Jews do not combine meat and dairy products. We, we Indians also do not combine meat and dairy products. For your information and Eskimos who live in Arctic Circle do not combine seafood and meat obtained from land so just uh, google the Arctic Circle just for your knowledge huh? uh, if you are a class 11th student then uh, it's okay but if you are a civil services aspirant you must google Arctic Circle okay now these examples itself explain the diversity in human life in terms of physical experiences this diversity of variations in way of living which includes food choices eating habits languages cultural practices lifestyles in our society is actually anthropology i repeat this diversity of variations in uh, food choices cultural practices lifestyles eating habits food habits languages in our society is actually anthropology it means anthropology as a subject upholds human diversity you got my point now this word anthropology was given by famous greek philosopher aristotle etymologically the word anthropology is derived from two greek words anthropos and logos means anthropos plus logos okay Anthropos means human and logos refers to study or science. It means anthropology is the study of humans 
or the anthropology is the science of human beings. Some famous definitions are also given in this chapter uh, by A.L. Kroeber, Harkowitz, Cluckhorn, etc. Uh, like, uh, according to Kroeber, anthropology is the science of man. According to Harkowitz, anthropology is the study of man and his work. According to uh, Clyde Cluckhorn, out of all the sciences which studies various aspects of man, anthropology is the one which comes nearest to the total study of man. It means, uh, according to Cluckhorn, anthropology is the study which explains about the man, which explains about the evolution of man also. Hmm? Uh, you just remember two or three uh, definitions which are... Uh, not uh, too much uh, descriptive it will help in your exam to learn now anthropology uh, you gave an uh, you just uh, have an idea about uh, what is anthropology and uh, etymologically what it means now let's talk about how it is different from other subjects in this we study about physical experiences so we say that uh, it is a subdivision of biology because in biology also, we study the physiological aspects, genetic aspects of organism, isn't it? Or we can say that anthropology is a subdivision of humanities or social sciences subjects like uh, sociology, psychology, history, political science, etc. Because anthropology also studies society, it also studies culture, it also studies behavioral aspects, it also studies past events of human beings. So collectively, anthropology has a biosocial nature which deals with the biological and social sciences principle. So the first characteristic of anthropology is anthropology has biosocial nature. Now the second unique characteristic is comparative, integrative and holistic nature of anthropology. See, all other subjects focuses on particular aspects of human being. For example, sociology deals with society and culture of humans, biology deals with physiological and anatomical aspects, history deals with the past events, but anthropology studies human life in an integrated manner. How? How it has integrative nature? See, anthropology studies how human beings evolved from primates as today's humans. By focusing on biological aspects, social aspects, linguistic developments, it explains the evolution of human. Anthropology explains the evolution of human by comparing these aspects through fossil evidence, cultural variations, societal developments, etc. In nutshell, anthropology considers human life in totality. This is the basic major difference from other subjects. Here also, one question arises, how anthropology studies or examine these aspects? The answer is by conducting field work. Have you noticed any field work in other subjects, in science subjects like uh, chemistry, biology, botany, geology, medical sciences or any uh, science subjects? We do laboratory experiments, isn't it? But in anthropology, anthropology gave prime importance to field work in order to collect valid and reliable data from the original source, not from any book library. So the third characteristic is anthropology is a field science. So in this chapter, we came to know the etymological meaning of anthropology and uh, the three unique characteristics of anthropology. First one is anthropology is a biosocial has biosocial nature. Second one is anthropology is a comparative, integrative, and holistic nature because it studies human in totality. Okay, and the third unique characteristic is anthropology is a field science. 